Hey, I'm Jeff with Avinmax, and today I have the Tenkara Rod Company Teton Rod. It is their, their most popular rod, and for a good reason here. As you, as you pull it out here, you see not only does it have the hard-sided tube, but it also has a nice uh, soft liner with it there as well that's just great for uh, keeping the rod looking great and, and making sure that it's not going to get um, broken or scratched or dinged, anything like that. So as you pull the rod out, you notice it comes with a little plug here in the top and that's kind of what keeps the rod in there. So you pull that out and then make sure that you put this somewhere where you're not going to lose it. So if you're out there on the river for the day, um, throw it in in a pocket in your backpack. Um, I kind of like the shirts that have a, a little zippered pocket up here, um, put in there as well. And then you'll just kind of bend the rod down until you see the one little string coming out of the end there. And then you grab that and you're just going to kind of feed it out here like this. You don't have to have a lot of pressure on each of these as you pull them out, um, but make sure that you have enough that obviously it won't collapse on you as you're out there fishing. And then the same thing to put it back in. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to make sure that you do that as well. Um, attaching the, the fly on is really easy as well. Just uh, tie a little knot in the top of this and then um, make a little hitch at the end of your uh, level line or whatever kind of line you're going to use for the tin car rod there. And then with a little hitch knot you just um, slip it over that. This here is, is a really, really nice rod. So um, the primary thing you want to look for when you're selecting a tin car rod is the length. And so you want to get a, a length rod that kind of matches the, the rivers and streams that you're going for. And this, I think, is a pretty good uh, mid-range rod. So it's going to work on, on quite a few different ones. It's 12 feet long, and then it has a 6-4 action in it, which means that uh, the, the rod is going to bend um, just a little less than halfway down as you're starting to, to fight and play with those fish. So these rods aren't really designed for real big fish. Um, they're mostly for kind of those high mountain lakes and streams when you're going after uh, kind of fish in the 60, 6 to 18 inch range somewhere in there. Of course if you do happen to hook into a bigger one these are still going to handle them just fine. It's just going to take a little bit more skill to be able to, to play with them and bring them in. But really if you're um, looking for a great rod uh, maybe trying to get into tin car fishing, not sure what to go with. This is going to be uh, kind of that right one that is going to be able to fish both uh, the bigger streams as well as still be short enough to allow you enough maneuverability as you're out there. Uh, maybe on some of those smaller streams with a little bit more of the brush and the trees next to you, you're still going to be able to use this one fairly well without getting it snagged up on too much or feeling like you have too much rod and line out there. So if you're looking for kind of that, that great uh, can use it on all sorts of rivers. Uh, Tenkara uh, Rod Company Rod is the one to do it with. If you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as add any comments or suggestions down below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.